Today we're gonna be testing out a new car care product. I just went inside Walmart and picked it up. We got Chemical Guys, Waterless Car Wash, and I also went ahead and picked up some new microfiber towels. Some Chemical Guys microfiber towels. This is the Waterless Car Wash by Chemical Guys. So this is supposed to be able to wash your car without needing water. Now obviously it's probably not a really detailed wash, but it'll probably get the job done if you're in a situation like me where you don't have water. So right now where I live, uh, we actually can't use water at home. We're on like a water restriction, so I can't hand wash my car at home. So something like this is gonna be perfect to try out just so I can kind of keep my car clean. And then these are the microfibers that I picked up. I'm gonna head home and I'll catch up with you guys when I get there so we can start washing. All right guys, we're back home now. I got the car in the garage. Pretty cool out, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right guys, so the instructions on these say just go ahead and spray down the area. Now this has an emulsifier in it, so it's gonna help break down the dirt that's on the car. So we're just gonna spray generously and let it sit for a second and then wipe down with the microfiber and then buff it out with the clean side. You don't wanna go like too abrasive on here uh, because you know, it's just trying to clean the area. You're not really trying to get like a professional wash done just to kind of get the job done. So we're gonna go ahead and start. So I'm just gonna spray it on like that, <clears throat> let it sit for a few seconds. Then we're gonna go ahead and wipe. And hopefully you can see, but it's actually doing a really good job. So, so far it's working really good actually. You can see here on the fender that it's taken pretty much everything off. So I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but something's wrong with like the paint on my hood. It's kind of like spotted up, even though it's clean. And I've tried clay barring it and I do know this car needs a detail. So I'm hoping maybe like a polish and a compound will take that out. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like these weird like bubbly looking circles and stuff. I just finished with the car and it came out pretty good like I said it's just temporary like if you can't actually wash your car so try not to be a perfectionist about it it does do pretty good I tried it on the wheels and I think for the wheels it's okay it's obviously a lot harder to clean the wheels with just spray and a microfiber rather than a bucket and the proper brushes and stuff but I think it came out pretty good if you guys want to give this a try, I'd recommend it. It definitely does pretty good. Maybe if you're like a car show or just not at home or maybe if you live in an apartment, whatever. We're going to go ahead and throw this Kaiba sticker on the car. I've been dying to get this on the car and it's just been too dirty. So we're going to go ahead and slap this sticker on there. So from my last video, if you guys saw, we installed the iDoing head unit. And so far it's been great as far as like having the Apple CarPlay, having YouTube, whatever. But to be honest, the sound quality isn't the best. I'm gonna be needing to do some more fine tuning on it and playing with the EQ and whatnot because it still just doesn't sound the best. It actually sounds a little bit worse than the head unit that was in here. And then also I need to figure out right now that the USBs are not getting any power. So we're gonna go ahead and look at that real quick. I'm pretty sure that I just had it plugged into the wrong port. So this red one here is for the USBs. And so there's two, I can't really show you on camera, but there's two same size uh, entries. So we're gonna flip it to the other one and see if that works. All right guys, so we plugged it into that other port. We're gonna go ahead 
turn on the accessory here and see if we get power to the USB. So I'm gonna have the USB in my phone and then hopefully I can do this with one hand. Okay, I got it in and still no power. So I'm gonna have to do some more digging. Well guys, that's pretty much a bummer. I rechecked everything and everything's plugged in and for still no reason, uh, the USB is not getting power. So the stock one isn't getting power, which is kind of to be expected with a new head unit, I guess. That's what I'm reading online. And these two extra ones, they're not getting any power either. So it's pretty frustrating. I don't have anywhere in my car now to charge my phone. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to come back to it, but that's it for now. I've literally been sitting in my car just super sweaty and just pissed off at this head unit, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video with, check it out, it's right there. The uh, Chemical Guys waterless car wash came out pretty good. The car looks good. I think I'm going to go take some pictures tonight while it looks good. So if you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe for more content. Leave a like, comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you guys know anything about the USBs, also let me know. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. All right, boys. I'm hyped. <laughs> Did you guys ever overthink the crap out of something? Like maybe the USB cable was bad? Yeah, that's what happened. I just ran inside, grabbed a good USB cable, and I was like, yo, I swear if it's just a bad cable, and sure enough, it was a bad cable. So we got power, boys. It's all good. We're hyped now. Now I will let you guys go. See you in the next video because I got a working USB, baby. Peace out, boys.